In this tutorial I want to show you how to create an almond shaped uh, nail using hard gel and we're going to create uh, the nail to um, a Labouton style which is uh, inspired by uh, the fashion designer uh, shoes and the nail will have a black surface uh, on top and it will have a red uh, uh, on the side of the nail. Uh, this nail is already prepared, um, we've applied primer on it. The next step will be to apply uh, a thin layer of base gel. The base gel that I'm using for this nail is compact base from uh, Crystal Nails uh, range. It's just a thin coat, brush on coat. I apply it from the cuticles to the free edge of the nail. Try to avoid touching skin. Okay, and this one goes into the lamp for one minute. I'm going to sculpt the nail to al almond shapes. I'm going to uh, apply the sculpting fur accordingly to an almond shape. And uh, I'm going to use the butterfly foams from Crystal Nails range. So I'm going to measure with my form first to see if I need to tailor the form. And I'm going to tailor the form to fit to my model's finger. Okay, so I'm going to start with the clear structure and uh, we need clear gel for this kind of job and uh, my choice is a superior gel from Crystal Nails uh, range. Um, it has a mid medium consistency and it's really easy to work with. It has no heat spike which is very important as well. Uh, it, uh, it's more comfortable for the clients. Uh, but at the same time, I really like this gel because it's very clear, uh, which is very important for this technique. So I'm going to pick up just a small amount of gel to start with, and I'm going to brush it on the natural nail. We don't cure this part. We are picking up a little bit more product, and we're going to create an extension with this bead. I place it in between the natural nail and the form. And first of all, I maneuver the gel to one corner of the nail, come back to the center and go to the other corner of the nail. I have just a little bit too much product, so I'm going to put it back in the pot. Now we're going to create uh, the length of the nail. For this style of nails uh, we need to uh, go just a little bit longer so the underside of the nail will be visible afterwards. If we create really short extension uh, this style will, will won't have the, uh, the perfect effect as the underside won't be as visible. Try to avoid any air bubbles in this uh, structure layer. So again we have nice and clear a kind of view of the color. 
Okay. Once you're happy with your structure layer, you can cure it in the lamp for about 10 seconds before we can pinch it. Okay, after 10 seconds we can apply a pinching clamp on. Just so we are uh, creating a little bit better and narrower shape. I'm trimming the butterfly wings from the bottom so my client can put the hand into the lamp like this. And we cure it for one minute. The next step will be uh, to apply red color on top of the see-through free edge. We will remove the clamp first. And now I can remove my sculpting form also. Release the tabs and pull the form down. Can be a bit challenging to get the form of sometimes. If that's uh, if it's difficult to release the form, use something sharp to release the gel from the form, just to separate it. And now we can pull the form down. Okay, so I'm going to use Royal Gel number one uh, on the clear part of my extension. Royal Gel is a very highly pigmented gel. Sometimes if you don't use the, this product for a while, it's good to give it a quick uh, stir just to mix all the pigments correctly. And we have to use a separate brush uh, if we're using colors because we don't want to contaminate our clear gels, our builder gels with uh, the pigment from the color gel. So we pick up small amount of uh, Royal Gel and we paint it on the surface of the clear. Make sure you apply enough uh, to have nice coverage. But uh, have to make sure that uh, the layer is not too thick either because it will not cure perfectly if we have too much product at this point. So just enough to create a nice coverage with the red. Okay, and we can pop it into the lamp for a minute again. So I really like this uh, using this brush. Uh, this brush is called Nero Merlo uh, Zero. It's from Crystal Nails range. Uh, it's uh, my favorite brush actually. Uh, I think I have three of them. I use one uh, for color gels, one for glitter gels, and one for builder gels. So uh, you can see that we need a separate brush for each of these products. Uh, in this way we can uh, ensure nice and clean work. So now I'm going to uh, create an apex on top of this nail and this is the gel I'm going to be using. Uh, it's called Cover Refill Heart. It's one of my favorite gels to use in a salon. It's a builder gel uh, with a little bit of pigment in it, just so it's easier for us to work with it, so you, we can see the gel moving on top of the nail. So with this gel I'm going to be uh, applying on top uh, to the correct thickness and creating apex with it as well. So I pick up a large bead of gel, I place it in the middle of the natural nail and from this gel I'm going to push it slightly to the cuticles, to the sides I work around the cuticles first, I create a, a little frame around the cuticles And then with the remaining amount of gel, I create my apex. And create the correct thickness of the nail. 
I pick up a little bit more gel and continue building this nail. I check my structure from the side and from the other side. If there is something that you're not happy with, we have to correct it before we cure this nail. I'm going to turn the hand upside down and when the gravity works uh, it pulls the gel in the correct points and helps us create a better apex tool. Okay, I'm happy with this nail now. We can pop it into the lamp for about a minute cure. Okay, the nail is now cured. We're going to remove the sticky layer from the surface. To remove the sticky layer, I'm using the cleanser. Just a small amount on my wipe. And I remove the sticky layer from uh, everywhere. And I'm going to start filing. So first of all, I'm going to start with the sides of the nail. And next I'm starting to file the surface. First of all, I'm going to concentrate on the cuticle area and the sides. So with the rounded side of my file, I'm going around in the horseshoe shape. When I file, I always check the nail from every angle. I check it from uh, the left side, check it from the right side. In this way, this is the only way to make sure that the nail will have a perfect shape.
Okay, once we file the surface um, to the nice shape, we have to use the buffer. I'm using just a white block and I'm going to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth. Okay, at this point I'm going to clean my cuticle area just a little bit more. So I'm going to use electric file again and a long pointy diamond bit. Okay, and I'm going to trim any leftover hanging cuticles just so we can have that really nice and clean finish to our color. Okay, once the nail is done to this uh, stage, I'm going to paint the whole nail uh, with the black color. I'm going to use uh, a gel polish from 3-step range. Uh, the number is 3-step 12. We are going to paint the whole nail with black. And carefully around the skin. Okay, I'm going to pick up my uh, detailer brush. I'm using zero short brush for this. And with just a small amount of gel polish, I'm going a little bit closer to the cuticles.
Just make sure that the black covers perfectly. If it doesn't cover in one layer, we can always apply a second layer afterwards. I'm just going to check on the side of the nail as well. And, and just paint the sides of the nail. So again, I'm using my detailer brush. I'm covering the sides just so we have nice and neat, neat finish. Okay, and I will ask my model to turn the hand upside down. Okay, once you're happy with the application, we can cure it in the lamp. Make sure uh, you cure it for extra minute, as black is really highly pigmented color, so um, we need to just always give it that extra curing time. Okay, this nail is now fully cured. We're going to apply a cool top just to protect the color. Nice and thin cold. Make sure you protect the whole nail from the cuticles to the free edge. And we also cap the edges of the nail too. Okay, this nail can go into the lamp for one minute. Okay, this uh, nail is now cured. Uh, make sure to wait about 30 seconds for the top coat to cool down. Try to avoid touching the nail and applying cuticle oil before the 30 seconds, otherwise the nail can uh, lose the shine. With this sort of nail, I always make sure I clean uh, the, on the side of the nail as well, just to remove any dust. So I will just use the, uh, a little wipe with a little bit of water on it, just to make sure that the behind of the nail is nice and clean. And now we can apply cuticle oil to finish it off. This is a finished nail now, and it has a red on the side. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you uh, would like to see more videos from us, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, and make sure to give us, give us a thumbs up if you like the video.